welcome back uh this week's pretty different from the past two videos that were really punk this week is more of a cozy vibe we're making a crochet garland and it's gonna be green and adorable lots of leaves and vines and i'm excited so the first step is getting all my yarn sorted i've got piles of leftover yarn from other projects so i'm gonna rewind some of them on our fancy dancy winder i just pulled out all this yarn that we have just on hand here's the before Time to set this up. I actually get to use the whole winder properly. Last one. Hopefully I cut everything correctly and this goes well. It's so perfect. Much more organized. Let's go. Almost done with this tiny little vine. You basically just make a chain however long you want and then go back along it doing two single crochets into every chain. And it makes a little spiral and it's just an adorable little vine. So this is going to be one of the details I add to the garland. And there's a little spiral. It's so cute. I learned this from Winding Road Crochet YouTube channel. From looking at the different tutorials on leaves briefly, they all seem to like kind of do the same thing. Is they make a chain and then they work down one side and then up the other side to make this symmetrical leaf. So I'm going to watch a few more tutorials and figure out which ones I like the best and then I think I'll be able to scale it a little bit. So now that I know how to make leaves, I'm gonna actually work on the garland itself and I'm gonna start making the, the length of it and I'll add leaves here and there as I go and get the length down and hang that up and see how I like it and then go back and make the garland thicker and add more leaves until I build it up enough that I'm satisfied. I want it to be very full and like maybe some droopy longer vines on like the corners. We'll see, but it can't be too long because Margot the cat will think it's a ribbon and a toy. So can I keep it under control a little bit? Let's try one of these big leaves. So you go up, then down, then up, and then back down the middle. I've got the uh, tutorial pulled up here by Knitting Life. So it says 14 chains first, so I'm gonna just do 14 more chains. Okay, 14 chains. Single crochet, two chains from the hook. Got it. Half double crochet, yeah. Two double crochets. Yard over twice. Yep. 
and four treble crochets, or triple crochets, whatever you call it. Four, and then two double crochets. And then half double crochet. And a single crochet. Half a leaf. I'm going through here. Go and flip that over. Pull that through. And then single crochet. You start the pattern over again. Half double crochet. Leaf. Go up here. Now we go back down the middle. So you go through the center, pull a little yarn through the back, and then you just keep going down that center hole. And I think it's just a slip stitch, is what this is called. There you go. Very nice. Didn't end up as pointy as this one. I probably messed something up at the top. Maybe I was supposed to do some chains. Probably. It's but now I ended up back on the ground, and I can continue the substitution. So I'm in the kitchen with the window destined for ground, and I'm gonna hang up what I've got so far because I did test hanging it once when I did my initial pass, and then I did a second, and it shrank. So I think I'm gonna add. Add more like I'm gonna hang it up and see how much more I need. So it's been a few weeks. I had to go back to work for a bit and it really took away from this project. I've just been letting it sit there for a while, mulling it over. I really need more bulkiness up top and then the tendrils coming down because just this like thin rope with the tendrils coming down. The proportions just aren't right. It looks thin and cheap and it needs a bulkiness to the top of it. And I think I need a more varied length of tendrils because I do a lot of like this length here, like 10, 12 inches. I need some variation, but also a lot of thickness on the corners. So I've got some work to do. That's like my favorite phrase for this project is I've got a lot of work to do and then I uh, I get busy and do other things and I don't do the work that I need to do for this. I've been doing this little baubles that I like. They're fun and they're really easy to do, quick. So I've got a lot more of those made. Should add some fun variation and texture. Uh, I haven't really done any more of these because these are really time consuming. They're really pretty but I don't know if it's worth it because like these ones are so much quicker. They get like the right leaf shape for vines. Several months later. garland vine project back up. I was about to do some animation things, stop motion, and I was clearing off my desk and I have had this pile of yarn and vine on my desk for months ever since I started this project and like I need to get this out of the way. Maybe I'll just hang it and see what it looks like and I got out some command clips tested it and I need to make it a little bit longer, but I'll just make it a little longer and get it up there provisionally, temporarily. Or just like basically hang it up, add pieces as I go, because I need to make more pieces for it still. But I can get 
most of it up there and out of the way and then it'll just be like a reminder to keep working on it because having the pile of yarn on my desk hasn't really worked until tonight. Woo, pretty! Hmm. That's fun. Kind of jungly in here now. See how I like it over the next few days. Living with it. Several months later. I started the singing plant last night. I've had these vine things for ages. I started making a garland earlier this year, like, I don't know, maybe March or May, something like that. And I just never liked how it was turning out. It was never like full enough. And I didn't have the patience to crochet that much vines to make it like really fulfill my vision. And then I thought, well, maybe I should make a new plant because I can't keep very many real plants alive. So maybe I need a nice fake plant. And I don't really like plasticky fake plants, but I already have all this vine stuff, all these leaves and twirly things. So I got a pot and I put some foam in here, wrapped it in some green fabric, and I pinned my vines down. I'm gonna sew them in, uh, but now they're just temporarily pinned in. And I've got an approximate height for the plant now because I put some floral wires through the crochet. So now that I've got an approximate height, I'm going to uh, crochet a holder for the pot because it doesn't have any straps to hang. So I've got a magic circle started and I'm gonna crochet the holder. And then once I've got the holder made, I'm gonna continue adding the vines and actually like hang it so that I can see what it's gonna look like and finish the layout. I made the crochet hanger and turned out really well. It hides the bottom of the pot and it kind of holds the edge of that bottom rim and goes around. Three strands. I've just got it the strands together with the safety pin right now, but I'll actually crochet them together just with the knot. I don't want to tie the strands together before I'm done with the layout though. That kind of makes things a little hard to move around if that is permanent. I'm just gonna hang this from my desk here and keep working on the layout. It's so fun though. <laughs> I'm sewing the ends of the crocheted vines into the fabric on the pot. Then I'll finalize the hook on the top. I'm just gonna tie the ropes together that I crocheted that hold up the plant. I was using a straight needle before and that wasn't working very well, so I switched to a curved needle so that it's easier to get the needle through in this tight working space.
finally, after so many months, like two thirds of a year, the vine project is done. It started as a garland and eventually just realized it was gonna be too much crochet for me to make a full garland. Like everything that I made for the garland is on here and this one central spot looks full. I would need to make that much to go across the whole window for it to meet my vision of fullness of so many leaves like we're in a jungle. So instead I have one glorious plant and I really like it. I found this pot the other day at a local plant shop and I just thought the eyes poking through would be really cute. I had the foam and the fabric to stick in there. I used floral wire to arch the plants so that they look alive and like they're, they've got shape to them and they're not all droopy. There's lots of them in there that are droopy, but they add fullness and layers and there's color variations. And I crocheted the holder. That worked out really well. I just used really thick, strong yarn and I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy that it's done and it looks really cute in the kitchen. And since it's Christmas, we hung up a tinsel garland. So we have a garland and we have a plant that won't die. That like, when it kind of spins a little bit, looks alive. I've had the pile of vines floating around our little apartment for so long. Now they're finally home. They have a place. They are complete. So I am not gonna crochet any more plants for a long time. Got tired of leaves. I'm trying to think what if there's anything I would do differently, because basically the whole project changed a lot. But for the plant, I'm really happy with it. I wouldn't change anything with this. Um so subscribe. <laughs> I was just trying to make you laugh. <laughs>